My victory is at hand! Har, har, har! Behold! The legendary 13th monkey of Montevideo! Har! Whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves to my infernal will! Har, har! Depressed yet? Half as much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his voodoo cutlass, you doddering sack of scum! I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last-minute heroics, my dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. All right, Lechuck, put down the monkey and back away from my wife. Guybrush! Arr! Three four. You've led me a merry chase, but soon the dread mysteries of these ancient simians will be mine, <laughs> and the seas will run red with the blood of my enemies. Har, har, har! <laughs> yeah, well, you fight like a... No time to waste, Guybrush. Finish enchanting that sword before LeChuck completes his spell. I'm on it. One LeChuck-defeating cursed Cutlass of Kaflu coming up. Now, where did I leave those handy voodoo instructions? They're pinned to your mast! Oh, yeah. Come to Guybrush, you spooky voodoo recipe, you. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cutlass. All right. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it, and let Chuck's as good as toast. Icky disease toast. <laughs> ah, the legendary monkey casket of Kauai. I'll never forget the horrible hula of Hades I had to do to get this in. Is this thing sloshing? More words you don't want to hear when you pick up a coffin. Have you no heart, LeChuck? Wait, what do I say? Of course he doesn't! how you open this thing. Aha! A seltzer bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. Bet this stuff will work wonders on my cutlass. Maker, LeChuck. Arr! Come and get me, a dirt digging doily dipper! Arr! Stop showboating and spray the sword, Guybrush! I'm not showboating, I'm. Arr! Arr! Whoa! Oops. Now we're going to die. Again. Oh, wonderful. Okay, no problem. I just need to find a fresh supply of impossible to find voodoo root beer. I sure hope there's some on a lane ship, because mine's as dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Elaine, my beautiful butter! What?! I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter! My beautiful butter?! I was gonna say buttercup, but you keep cutting me off! Oh, guy, gosh. Now stop the chaka, we're all dead. You've got inordinately strong thighs. See if you can swing me that rope. It's not long enough, but I've got a better idea. How'd you do that? You don't spend several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, without picking up a few tricks, darling. My ship, my booty, my collection of autographed sextants. We'll buy you some more sextants later. Just stop the chuck. Ah, three wood. So good of you to join us. Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship. Oh, me, oh, me. 
It's Elaine's barrel of light grog. It's like real grog, only without the taste, or calories, or debilitating blackouts. Yes! Yes! Mm, a wet cutlass. Just what I've always wanted. later tonight. I wondered where all my gunpowder went after the mother-in-law incident. I wondered where all my gunpowder went after the mother-in-law incident. Nope. Find something to replace the voodoo root beer. Locale grog. I bet I can make a fortune selling this to, well, no one. Hmm, a wet cutlass. Just what I've always wanted. Like a <laughs> dairy farmer. No, I don't think that'll work until you finish enchanting the cutlass, love. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't say that. Stop the chuck from tormenting those monkeys. Those roots could really use a trim. See if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. There, much neater. Stop the chuck from tormenting those monkeys! Now that's some fizzy root grub. Bet it still tastes like monkey snout, though. Enough. Okay, you barrel of disgusting locale goo. Make yourself useful. Booyah! Look out, LeChuck! Here comes Guybrush Threepwood's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance! LeChuck! Do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy... Ceremony here. Unholy this! Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! Arr, arr. You can't defeat me that easily, sheep. Wait, what's happening? Is that how the cutlass is supposed to work? I don't know, it's so bright. What the heck? Woof. I'm human. That's debatable. Guybrush, quick! Finish him off! What? Oh, right! This is for the monkeys, LeChuck! What are you doing? Finish him! It's not me, it's my hand! It won't... Uh-oh. Elaine! Guybrush?
Ahoy there, me hearty! What? Don't worry, we'll have you up and sucking back a grog in. No! My dote! My beautiful pirate dote! I'll get you for this, you craven build rat! Sorry, I don't know what got into me. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that looked at, kid. Huh? The name's Nippercan. Davy Nippercan. Senior reporter, Keel Hollow Gazette. Welcome to Flotsam Island. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Great! What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I'll believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um... Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. You're right. Yes, sir, Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says hey. I. Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? This island looks, uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Threep Wand. The winds! Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped! Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. Deep Gut? What's a Deep Gut? Deep Gut's my secret source for off-island news stories. And it's a good thing, too. Without the Gut's uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keel Hollow Gazette would never be able to compete with those snowy prima donnas over at the Flats and Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this deep gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. Davy J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. A deal? Yeah. Off Island news is nice and all, but the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty, local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid! You can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter! Yeah, this'll be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! Attention! Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. Card? Card? What card? Wind still sucks. Flotsam Island endures 1,138th straight day of unwelcome winds. Hey. Hey, Davy. Call me Nippikin, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. So, what sorts of swashbuckling do you go in for around these parts? Oh, we used to love all sorts of piracy here on Flotsam. Barely a day would go by without a good bar fight. Ship seizing, a buried treasure cropping up. Now it seems like all anyone wants to do is hang around and wait for the winds to change. 
Well, leave it to me and your sleepy little hamlet will be bubbling over with buccaneering boisterousness before you know it. Couldn't you just tell me how to contact Deep Cut? I'll be your best friend. Sorry, kid. No can do. I need pirate stories, and you need my source. Any questions? Bye. Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you. It's locked. No one allowed in there but Keelhauler employees, Leapwood. You're thinking of becoming a reporter? Oh, heck no. Any news? Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the burr in brig. Those eye carvings are creepy. From the jails, the flag, and the general air of perverted justice, I can only guess that this must be the Flotsam Island Courthouse. Hmm, I guess court isn't in session today. Which is probably a good thing, considering all the laws I'll be breaking. Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. The doctor is busy. Crummy sconce. Uh, I'd better pick this up before someone notices, um, trips over it. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. Starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well quaffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the Screaming Narwhal. And you are? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? Anything about Club 41? Club 41? Wonderful place. I haven't been there since I lost my membership card when I seized the narwhal. Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? <laughs> Good one, Boyo. But I didn't build the screaming narwhal. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Were they drunk? No, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sot's look. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? How'd you end up on Flotsam? Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds! I was chasing some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty, when all of a sudden, Flotsam's capricious winds picked up my ship, shredded it to bits, and plunked me down here on her bounteous shores. Be seeing you. I look forward to it.
The screaming narwhal may not be particularly pretty or seaworthy, but at least she's a ship. Prepare to be boarded then, Winslow. <laughs> Bacon grease, boyo. Slickest stuff in the seven seas. Oh, crud. This jacket was an anniversary present. And now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine gonna be P.O.'d? And I never ever ever do a thing about the weather because the weather never ever does a thing for me. Wow. Never thought I'd see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Aye, and I never thought I'd see a talking baboon. So I guess we're even. Ahoy there, scruffy artisan. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Ahoy yourself. I be Gaffer Crimp Digit, pirate glass blower. How'd a crusty pirate like yourself wind up making little glass unicorns? Listen, matey. Glass blowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole, and you can kiss your eyeballs goodbye. I can? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. So, unicorns, huh? Aye, graceful, delicate creatures they are. Though, to be honest, they aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For me next project, Maybe I'll be making something that really speaks to them. So many I can ever sell these blasted horny buggers. What can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth, they be. They encircle the island. Shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's winds. Yikes. What's this alphabet sale all about? Well, it's the latest thing. I make unbreakable tubes in the shapes of letters, which can be used to create festive, illuminated business signs, novelty mementos, or lamps. Kitchy. Hey, very camp. Consonants cost 48 pieces of eight. Today, I'm giving away one free vowel per customer. Would you like a vowel? Well, I think I'd like one of those free vowel tubes. You'd like to buy a vowel, eh? Here you go! A U? What about A, E, I, O? Or even Y? All sold out. All we got is U tubes these days. Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Hey, who doesn't? Hi. Ah, who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso de Oro, treasure hunter extraordinaire. What were you doing down there? Nothing. It looked like you were playing with dolls. They're not dolls. They're fully articulated porcelain power pirates. What kind of treasure do you hunt? Gold doubloons? Silver triploons? Anyone can find gold or silver. I look for the rarest of pirate treasures. I'm almost certain I'm going to regret asking this, but what is the rarest of all pirate treasures? Porcelain power pirates. What in the name of Davy Jones's closet organizer are porcelain power pirates? They're the rarest and coolest action figures ever. 
I've been tracking them with the Porcelain Power Pirate treasure maps hidden in special boxes of Porcelain Power Pirate pear flavored breakfast soup. I've spent years tracking them down, and I've almost got the full set. How many PP Pirates do you have left? The only Power Pirate I have not found is the ultra rare, impossible to find a dark ninja Dave with killer karate katana. I thought I might find it here on Flotsam Island, but I got scammed. Scammed? Jace, some guy in a plaid jacket with waving arms sold me a Ninja Dave map, but he just keeps sending me in circles. What makes Dark Ninja Dave so rare? Because a bunch of pirate parents had him banned on account of his pointy killer karate katana accessory. They said it was a choking hazard. Wimps. What makes Dark Ninja Dave so rare? Because a bunch of pirate parrot. Mind if I take a look at that map? Take it. It's useless. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're sure this Dark Ninja Dave is a valuable treasure, right? Oh, it's the stuff that dreams are made of. Porcelain dreams. Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island, too? Yes, but I came here voluntarily in search of the elusive Dark Ninja Dave Porcelain Power Pirate action figure. What's that big pink pile of dolls? Action figurines! Okay, what's that big pink pile of action figurines over there all about? Those are my extra pink pajama pierres, the lamest and least valuable of the porcelain power pirates. I loathe pink pajama pierre with the white hot intensity of a million exploding cannonballs. Can I call you Doro the Explorer? No. Can I call you Doro the Explorer? No. It's a Ninja Day figure with throwing star action! Where? Okay, Guybrush. It's only a little porcelain. Just close your eyes and go to your happy place. Ew. I, I didn't see anything. Sorry, it must have been a leaf. Pink Pajama Pierre, one of Doro's porcelain power pirate action figures. I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. Arr, no! Yikes. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. Hmm, curious. That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. I wonder what sort of hideous sacrificial rites were performed on this ancient altar. Hmm, tastes like chicken.
Hmm. Curious. Curious. Smiling stands young Miss Mini Bombs. All the punch of larger mini bombs packed into a smaller package for petite pirate hands. You know, I better just take all of them. You know, if someone caught me walking around with a pink doll, it'd be a real black mark on my record. Free vowels! Get him while they're vowels! Unicorns! Get your hand-blown glass, unicorns! <laughs> 